hey guys what's up welcome back to a new tutorial in today's tutorial i'm gonna show you how you can create this glowing line animation inside Optivate. this is gonna be really exciting tutorial so let's get started okay guys i'm gonna start with a new composition and let's go with this glowing line animation i'm gonna go with a full HD resolution for this tutorial and 24 frames per second 10 seconds as the duration and then hit ok now we need to add our line so i'm gonna go to toolbar select this pen tool and without any fill i'm gonna go with a stroke with a 8 pixel okay we can change it later and i'm gonna draw a line like this you guys can uh, draw anything you like okay okay after you satisfied with the line you can just adjust it using these points uh, we can start with the adding effect so i'm gonna call this layer glowing line so select this press enter on your keyboard and i'm gonna call this glowing line now let's open the shape layer and i'm gonna go to content here in the shape one and we can see the stroke open this stroke one layer and let's increase the stroke width let's see yeah something like this uh, so something around 50 is good also set the line cap to round cap so it will give us this round edge to this line okay i'm gonna duplicate this stroke one layer so select this and press ctrl d to duplicate now let's go to stroke two layer and here i'm gonna change the color to something around this gray color okay and after you set this you can hit ok now let's go to stroke one and here i'm gonna add a little taper so open this taper option and here we can increase the in length so this will give us this taper look to the uh, white stroke okay and yeah something like this should work and i'm gonna just close this up because we are done with this step now we need to add a trim part so i'm gonna select this shape one and go to add and add a trim path make sure you in the zero second we can open the trim path one and here we can animate the in value so i'm gonna create a keyframe for the zero second so make sure you in the zero second and create a keyframe now go to two second and create another keyframe i'm gonna go to zero second again and set this value to zero now if you press spacebar as you can see we have this simple reveal I'm gonna select this keyframe and let's press F9 on your keyboard to ease these keyframes. This will give us that smooth motion as you can see. We can also go to graph editor and select this in value. Set the graph something like this. By the way guys I'm using this value graph okay. And just set the curve like this. So this will give us that nice uh, reveal. Okay this should work. And i'm gonna close this up now i'm gonna uh, add some effect to this layer so let's open the effect and preset menu if you don't see this you always know you can find this in the window menu as you can see here and i'm gonna search for fast box blur make sure you select this layer and then just double click this will apply the effect and let's go to effect and control you can also find the effect control here okay and if you don't see this and now let's increase the blur radius to maybe around uh, 8 it should be good yeah something like that now i'm gonna go to add a cc composite so let's search for cc composite and just double click this will apply this cc composite effect i'm gonna go to composite original and set this to composite original to stencil alpha this will remove all the outside edge now uh, we need to increase the alpha level so i'm gonna add a level effect so let's go to effect and preset and search for levels this will give us that level effect i'm gonna double click and here i will set the channel to alpha and let's increase the right slider to the left side okay as you can see when we do this you can just see the preview and it will crush the white values of the uh, stroke as you can see let me show you as you can see and now i'm gonna add a color arm effect this is a really awesome effect and now let me show you how to use this after you apply this color arm effect you can go to input press and here we can play with the press shift 
As you can see, when we add a little bit rotation, the colors will also rotate. I think it's really good if we add a time expression. So I'm gonna go here and press Alt on my keyboard and click on this space shift stopwatch icon. This will open the expression properties and I'm gonna type time expression. So let's type time. So I'm gonna type time and multiply by maybe 50. Let's see the result. Okay, I think it's a little bit too slow and let's set this to maybe 150. Yeah, I think that looks pretty nice. So I'm gonna go to 3 second mark and press N on my keyboard doing the composition here. By the way, if you guys want to add a different colors, you can just go to output cycle and here you can just play with the different color. Okay, uh, you can also just see a lot of uh, preset here. I recommend you guys to just play with this one let's close this up now you can also add a text but before that we can also add a little bit bigger to the stroke so i'm gonna just go to shape layer let's close this effect layer and go to shape one here we can find the path option so i'm gonna open this up make sure you select this path now go to windows and find this select this create null from path script i'm gonna click this this will give us this create null from path script and i'm gonna select this point follow null as you can see when we click this uh, after it will give us this lot of uh, null which will follow the uh, stroke path uh, let me show you as you can see when we select this path we can see there are a lot of path points just like that what script is doing is that uh, is create a null object for each of these points so we can just uh, control each of these uh, points separately as you can see now we can add a little bit uh, wiggle to this so it will add a nice effect select this upper layer and just hold shift on the keyboard and click on this below layer and then press p to bring the all the position properties and let's select the position of each of these layers just like that you can select all of these position properties by holding control on your keyboard and then just click each of these as you can see it will select one by one and then right click select this separate dimension this will uh, separate all the values we only need the y position so i'm gonna hold alt my keyboard and click on this y stopwatch icon this will open the expression and then let's type wiggle expression so i'm gonna type wiggle in the brackets i'm gonna type 0 0.4 comma and let's go with uh 50 let's see yeah little slide i think 50 little bit too low so i'm gonna go with 100 let's see yeah 100 will work let's go to six second and press n on your keyboard now let's copy the expression so i'm gonna select this y position right click select this copy expression only option and then let's paste this expression to the other layers so i'm gonna go to here and make sure you uh, hold control on your keyboard and then just click off these uh, y positions as you can see this will select all of these y position and then you can just press ctrl v to paste the expression now if you check this we have this random wiggle to this stroke and it looks pretty good we can also add a text now let's press ctrl a to select all this and i'm gonna unfold this just like that now let's also add a text so i'm gonna go to toolbar and select the type tool and here i'm gonna type glowing lines you guys can type whatever you like and if you want to increase the size you can just increase it using this character menu i think this should work i'm gonna press ctrl alt home on my keyboard to reset the anchor point just like that and let's place it somewhere around here okay i think the position is good now let's add a little bit animation to this text so i'm gonna go to text tool and add a animate option here i will give a position as well as the opacity properties and now let's set the opacity to uh, zero let's set the position in the y value uh, maybe around 150 and let's go to zero second and open the range selector we can animate this start value as you can see now i'm gonna create a keyframe and let's go to two second mark and set this to 100 again and select this keyframe and press f9 to ease and let's see the preview as you can see simple reveal and we can also just drag it a little bit here so the text layer will have a little bit offset 
now we can also add a little bit drop shadow so i'm gonna go to effect and preset and search for drop shadow this will help us adding a little bit shadow to the text so i'm gonna set the opacity to 100 and increase the softness value something around 150 we can also add a little background so go here and right click new and add a solid i will give a little bit gray color background and i'm gonna rename this as bg hit ok just drop it down now let's add a glow to the line so i'm gonna select this line layer and go to effect and preset and search for glow this will add a glow as you can see it's not that intensive so i'm gonna go to project panel and here we can see we have a 8-bit uh, color depth so i'm gonna increase this up so hold alt on your keyboard and click on this uh, bit icon this will increase the bit value open two times this will convert this to 32-bit color space as you can see this will add that uh, nice glowing lines so i'm gonna go to effect controls and we can just play with the glow radius as you can see this will have a nice glow i think a little bit intensive right now so i'm gonna reduce the intensity to maybe around 0 0.2 something around here yeah looks pretty nice right guys and i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you have any question let me know in the comment section as always thank you so much for the patient supporters i can't thank you enough uh, for the support and yeah I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.